Okay, so, so far, this is, uh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, getting ready to go back up north. Anyway, uh, Thursday, whatever, June 18th, uh, 27th or something. Anyway, so this is the only really bad part of the wall I found. All this wood had rotted away, and there was wood here was the base, but just concrete, so that's no big deal. And what had happened was, somebody stuck a cable TV cable through there, and the water was running down the cable, dripping right inside the house. So it rotted everything away, rotted these boards away, sorry, these boards, the whole base. Other than that, I haven't seen any real, what we would call, bad damage to the place. So this is about the last day I'll be here for about two months, so let's take a quick walk, walk around, have our measurements. And this, again, this is the kids' room originally. I'm going to lose all that. This now becomes the office. I think that's going to be my bed. The kids' room is going to be my bedroom when I come back down here. So you got to look at what we're doing with walls. And nobody likes this wall here for some reason. So it's a, I don't know whether we're going to cut it away that way or cut it away that way. You know, I'll take a saw today and take a look inside of there and see what's up. Kitchen, kitchen's big, but you know, we might be able to move the kitchen over a little bit and do that as the cabinets and everything, which will brighten that wall up if I get some righteous cabinets on it. And cut that back a little bit, have that as a wall. A smaller kitchen wouldn't hurt if I keep it open. And the question is, do you want to keep it open because of the heat? Hmm, that's kind of an issue. But if I put a fan up there to suck air out, no, I'll suck my cool air out. I don't know. I just don't know Florida well enough to know what I'm up to. Um, these are pretty strong, but uh, they're going to have to go out for sale because uh, I like the red countertop and the stove's cool. It's a huge son of a bitch. But, uh, hmm. Oh, well, things to think about. Backyard's coming. Well, it's the same as it ever was, but it's getting better, sort of. Uh, I went in, that's that pile that was six feet tall. You can now see the fence all the way around, all the way down, that's all cleared out. This tree here, she's gonna fall down. I got a rope around it. It's so been gonna fall down. It's gotta be cut down when I come back. Which is a good thing my chainsaw broke because I'd be trying to climb up there and cut that and see if I can kill myself, but otherwise I think we're alright. So this is getting clear down there. All this broadleaf crap will come up. Cut this, that was that tree in the corner. It's called a Brazilian pepper tree, which apparently they're an invasive species, so one bad to get rid of them. Don't know what he is, but he's gonna stay. Now that thing over the fence will probably pull off one of these days. That was that pile of green um, a week ago that I cut back. Remember, that was all green, and then this pile was like eight feet high, as was that one. I went in with a chainsaw and chopped it up, and. We gave it a few days to die, which it seems to be doing. So there's the back of the house from here. The famous porch where the, girl, the daughter tied the dog to the thing and the porch fell down. I got two roof spinners, but one of them only spins. The other one's loose, but it doesn't spin so much. Barn needs work. Got some holes in it. I do like the cow in the window. We'll stop it later. later. So we come around this way. This will be a walk away. You can see these thorns and this stuff. It's just killing me. But my arms are better. Well, kind of better. So all that. Let's go on the guy next door. We're going to get a fence. We're going to split the cost on that and get that thing done. I say these will be a year before they fall off. Back of the barn. These boards are all right, right. Broken. So that's dangerous stuff there. Again, this pile is six that high. Couldn't see it over here, but now we can. Uh, what else am I up to today? Uh, that's a dead tree that's got to come down. I got a rope to it, so if it does decide to fall, hopefully it falls away from the house and not on the house since I do not have insurance and don't plan on getting any for a while. The barn with Cal. The lemon yellow or ochre yellow or whatever ugly color that was stuff that was in the living room will go on that wall for a while until I figure out what to do with this thing. I gotta see what better shape it's in, but that's not a priority. Another storage thing. 
um, stores. So I got plenty of places to put stuff. All this is cleared out, which is different. This is my pile of stuff that has to go out. So this whoosh, this fence is gone, which I don't need since I don't have a dog. My lizards, these guys are all over the place. I got all kind of different lizards. He's kind of cool. I don't think anybody bites or does anything. So far, they all go the other way. So this is the whole house tour, I guess. This thing had this mat on the top. I guess she grew something that required shade because it was a shaded deal. But oh, every, oh, every piece of dirt that could fall off the trees. Oh, there's my collection of, I guess the guys didn't pick it all up. They picked some of it up. I guess they're leaving me that, I don't know. Hard to say, I hope they come back and get the rest. Anyway, so there's the front. A new, new, new fence all around. Uh, this is cleaned up a little bit. Cleaned all the stuff off of here. Uh, that's, they tell me that stuff doesn't kill trees. This I man makes beautiful flowers once a year. What do I know? That tree is staying that one. This apparently is a real rare one, especially one that thick. Don't know what kind of pine or palm. Two more palms. One of those pines may go because I want to put solar on the roof. I'm not sure how that's going to play out. Uh, so yeah, our front yard's cleaned up a little bit. It's hard to tell, but it has cleaned up quite a bit. And then uh, we'll go back in the house again, back to the living room. Did I start here? Yeah, I did. This porch, uh, I think when I come back, we'll screen it. It's kind of pretty private, I'll screen it. But um, And then Alan says, put that stuff on the roof. That way I get light in here. If we're trying to get more light in the living room. This kind of kills it. And this whole area here, which I really almost didn't even notice I had, um, this is that's where that I fixed that, but that's where that wire was dripping down where all the water came in to rot that away. This is the auxiliary room. Cleaned a lot of this crap out on these trees so and get some light in there. When I come back, that stuff will come off so I get some light. This is this. There was a little planting bench there. This thing. Uh, it was had all this black crap on top of it, so I went up yesterday and that came down. Uh, these trees, one of them may have to go, I don't know. We'll be thinking about it. Um, it's kind of wasted, useless, I don't know what kind of space. Who knows, maybe you make this thing bigger. Well, I can't because I got the trees. We'll figure it out. Alright, let's see what else. Is that it? I think that's the show. Started there. I like the radio stations down here. This will probably be guest bedroom in this area. That's kind of small, but I just invite small guests. <coughs> the outside, like if you do anything in the oven, you do it out here apparently. <coughs> um, is that it? <coughs> Phew. Still smells like there was a cat in here, but not so bad as it used to be. I don't know whether we stopped by the bathroom or not, but we're going to stop there again. Just, so, I, yes. So, I have a picture of what's going on. Okay. Anyway, somebody just called me. I heard my name. Oh, it's PJ next door. Or JP, sorry. His brother. Not much.